welcome back to your Gmail inbox settings. We got one or two more things we want to look at here under general. If you'll scroll about halfway down, maybe a little more, you get here to stars. This allows you to set up your own color coded system. If you are a person that likes to color code things, here's a way to do it electronically. You can drag these stars between lists. Maybe you only want one or two colors or you don't want to use any of these other symbols. You can take them and say, no, nope, I'm not going to use a yellow question mark. I don't want to use the square. I don't need them for me. I'm not going to use these and put them down here to not in use. The presets would let you use all the stars, which is what I've got, or just four of them or just one of them or however it is you want to work it. I tend to leave them all there. This allows you out in your inbox to color code things. For example, I get people from across the district that send me things that need to go on the website. And I can't always do that immediately when they send me this update for the website. I'm teaching a class or I'm grading papers or I'm covering somebody else's class or something happens and I, I'm not able to do it right that minute. And I typically go through my stars and I give everything that needs to get updated on the website one color of stars that day. If I get information from somebody about yearbook stuff or it's money related, maybe I give it a green star. If it's an emergency kind of a thing that I want to find again, maybe it's this exclamation mark in the box or whatever it is. This will let you take all of the things that you need to deal with and label them and then you can find them over here under starred. Okay, so I have some of these in use. If we click over here in star, you will see everything I have starred. Some of this is yellow, like you need to deal with this. Some of it's red. This is information from a variety of different people about a variety of different subjects. Here's this. This is my receipt from Insert Learning. It's green. Guess what? This is my invoice from when I paid for that subscription. Anything about money gets to be green. Anything that's yellow gets to be this. Anything that's red is something else. And you can use that to find the information that you need. Okay, that's over here in settings. Clicked on too many things. You get to settings, get into all settings. It's under that first layer and you can star things. Not only will they show up as starred in this, they'll show up as starred in your inbox and you can handle your business because You've got it labeled the ways that it needs to be labeled. And once you've taken care of it, you can take it out of that starred place where it is and say, okay, I did that. I did this. I don't need that starred anymore. I do want that starred so I can find it again. That I need. This I don't. This I need somewhere else. That I should put somewhere else. And you can go through and change those things. Okay. So for example, here in my inbox, here was this. I can click through. This one's handled. It's blue. It's done. This I want to go look at. It's Google related. So I'm going to make it red. Um, this is a senior photo. I'm going to go back and make it orange so I can find it again. This is Googly stuff again. So I'm going to make it red so I can find it. And those color coded, those stars show up in my inbox as well. So those of you miss, wishing for color coding options, Here's your best option and another way to get organized to make your inbox work for you. So go use a couple of different colors of stars and make them mean something.